Hello, I'm Deborah McGrath, Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at ServiceNow. Over the next few minutes, I'll be demonstrating our Microsoft Azure DevOps integration for ServiceNow Agile development, which enables bi-directional synchronization between both systems. If you're planning development work in ServiceNow ITBM, but your development teams are executing that work in Microsoft Azure DevOps, or ADO, it can be challenging to keep switching back and forth between both systems to try to get a clear understanding of the overall project work status. It would be preferable to have a single system of record where users don't have to swivel chair between two systems to get the full picture. The ServiceNow Agile development for ADO solves this by letting teams continue to work in their product of choice while keeping data in sync. It brings work from one system into another with configurable data types, and it provides progress and status back to ServiceNow in context of the work by automatically synchronizing work status at the program or portfolio level. We'll view the demo from two different perspectives. Logged into ServiceNow is Eileen Motern, a product owner who is responsible for tracking product progress and who relies on the ServiceNow Agile board to get visibility into her team's capacity to do work, manage their backlog of stories, and to do sprint planning and sprint tracking. And we'll log into Microsoft Azure DevOps as a developer on one of Eileen's teams, the HR delivery team. This team uses ADO to plan, build, and track their work. Let's see how the Agile development ADO integration keeps the HR development team and the product owner on the same page as they make changes and updates in both systems. Beginning on the ServiceNow Agile board, the product owner, Eileen, has selected the HR employee engagement program to review the stories being developed the teams working on those stories, and the cross-dependencies between them. She wants to review the progress of the HR delivery team, which is developing many important HR employee engagement product features. They've been working on a total of 13 stories across five sprints, including a highly anticipated new hire 90-day survey capability and four other stories in Sprint 18. Meanwhile, the developers on the HR delivery team are viewing these stories in Microsoft Azure DevOps, and they see the same 13 stories and the same story sequencing across each of the five sprints, including the new hire 90-day survey and four additional stories in Sprint 18. They have nothing currently planned in Sprint 21. Back in ServiceNow, the timeline across the top shows Eileen when each of the sprints is planned. A red or green gauge on each sprint shows her the load of the planned work compared to the team's expected capacity for that sprint and the amount filled in along the bar gives a visual cue to the amount of capacity remaining. Eileen immediately notices a few issues that will require adjustments. First, the red dependency line alerts Eileen to a sequencing issue. The new hire 90-day survey story is dependent on the completion of the new hire survey page story, but it's in the previous sprint. The solid red line below HR Dev Sprint 18 indicates the second issue, that the team is overloaded. The five stories in Sprint 18 exceed the HR delivery team's capacity to do the work in that sprint. To fix the problems, Eileen will drag the new hire 90-day survey story out to Sprint 20, which has a green gauge indicating that the load is less than 100% of capacity. This fixes the sequencing issue, and Sprint 18 is now within the team's capacity, but unfortunately the move causes Sprint 20 to become overloaded. After some consideration, She'll drag the performance bonus plan story out to Sprint 21 to resolve this, and now all sprints are within the team's capacity to do the work. The HR delivery team developers will automatically see all of these updates as well. Refreshing the ADO backlog, developers see that there are now only four stories in Sprint 18, the new hire 90-day survey story is now in Sprint 20, and Sprint 21, which was empty, now contains the performance bonus plan story. Next, Eileen clicks on the Team tab to create and add a new story to the backlog based on an incident related to the existing HR employee engagement program. ServiceNow's unified backlog allows Eileen and her team to maintain a centralized backlog containing records of different task types, such as defects, enhancements, problems, incidents, and stories. They do this by setting up triage boards for each specific task type. Once set up, it enables the team to add, prioritize, and sequence different task type records all in one location. To locate the HR incident, Eileen selects the triage board her team defined for all software incidents. She selects the incident, HR Site Careers link missing, and adds it to the backlog. Returning to the Agile board, 
Eileen clicks on the HR incident, which has been added to the bottom of the unified backlog. In addition to the incident details, a story has automatically been created for the incident. This removes the overhead of converting records to stories, which saves Eileen and her team valuable time and steps. She assigns the story to the HR delivery team and gives it two points. As expected, the ADO backlog is automatically synchronized and the HR delivery team also immediately sees the new story in their backlog. And of course, as developers update stories in Azure DevOps, that information will also be reflected back within ServiceNow. For example, when the HR delivery team sets both of the stories in HR Dev Sprint 17 to closed here in ADO, they'll also be closed in ServiceNow. Eileen now sees a check mark on those stories in the ServiceNow program board, indicating that they are complete. ADO integration for Agile development provides Eileen and her development teams with the real-time intelligence they need to track status, make better business decisions, do realistic planning, and efficiently execute their work, regardless of whether they're working in ServiceNow Agile Development or Microsoft Azure DevOps. We just demonstrated how Microsoft Azure DevOps integration for ServiceNow Agile Development enables organizations to synchronously plan and work in ServiceNow Agile Development, along with teams that are executing that work in ADO. The integration provides bi-directional synchronization that brings work from one system into another with configurable data types and automatically synchronizes work status across both systems. For additional information, visit servicenow.com/itbm.